We've all seen these flower pot heaters that you can make at home with a little bit of nothing to heat a room in a case of an emergency. I thought I'd give it a shot today, see how they work, kind of play around with it a little bit, and well, sometimes doing dad shit goes wrong. Today was one of those examples. Um, had too many candles underneath the pot, and you'll see the video here in a little bit. Eh, the wax decided it was all gonna light on fire at the same time. Um, thankfully, I had some precautions in place in case something went south, and uh, south it went. So we'll show you the clip of the video, and then we'll show you a little bit of the aftermath right after that. So. All right, so here are the pots afterwards. You can see how sooty they got. Um, was not burning very clean. Um, typically these candles, they burn really clean, really simple. We've all seen these before. They're really cheap. The ones that were underneath there, they look like this now. And you can see I had it on a piece of wood. Was not the best idea. And that started to actually char it quite a little bit. But thankfully, fireplace brick saved the day. A couple of random pieces of rebar I was playing around with, making stuff out of, able to pull the candles out from underneath there. I did try to blow it out before I tried to snuff it out, and that just shot flames everywhere. Thankfully, there's not a lot of flammable stuff over here by my fireplace that could have caught on fire. So, main takeaways from this is if you're playing with fire, have some plans in place. Uh, I had the gloves that I could handle the hot flower pots to get them out of the way. I used the fireplace brick that I was using as a support to snuff out the fire. Uh, fire extinguisher was nearby. I was using it by the fireplace. So I had good ventilation. I could get all the smoke to go up the chimney so I didn't fill up the room. One of the biggest hazards in a small fire like that it probably wasn't going to catch the whole house on fire. Ceilings probably have asbestos in them, but this smoke can really cause a lot of damage in a house. I've been through a house fire myself when I was younger where there was really a lot of damage other than smoke damage, and that can be a huge pain in the keister to clean up. So be safe when you're doing these things, and uh, I'll talk to you on the next one.